Hello again. Thank you very much for joining me here on Movie Ninja. This is my trailer reaction to the new Mortal Kombat 2021 official trailer. And I think it goes without saying that one of the best video game films ever made was the 1995 original Mortal Kombat. Now, this looks, it looks sharp. It looks like a good follow-up to that. But I'm gonna be honest with you, like even even with any, like before I get into any of my sort of like, like critic talk, I'm gonna watch this film. I'm gonna watch this film for two reasons. Scorpion, Sub-Zero. There we go. And I, I really doubt that I'm alone with that. So I'm watching this for Sub-Zero, played by Joe Tulsi. Who is Joe Tulsi? Joe Tulsi has been in some of the best martial arts films that have come out of Indonesia in the last couple of years. Uh, the Raid Redemption and The Night Comes For Us. He's been in a lot of other things, but those are like the big name drops. You know, like the, the Raid Redemption and The Night Comes For Us. And then there's Scorpion, who is going to be played by Hiroyuki Sanada. Hiroyuki Sanada was making action films when my dad was starting to watch action films out of Japan, all right? This guy is a veteran action movie, you know, action movie guy. And I, to be honest, he's the guy that in, in the West we set up other tough action guys up like against. And I don't, I don't think he's gotten his fair due. Not really, like at least as of reason. Because like most of his more recent things have been, uh, let me see, he played a uh, Yakuza boss in Avengers Endgame. Who's like, oh, like how 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 deadly is is Hawkeye? Well, he he took out Hiroyuki Sonata. Yeah, that they did that, and I was like, okay. So, what else has he been? Well, he's been in the Wolverine, aka Wolverine Goes to Japan, where he also takes out Hiroyuki Sonata. The Wolverine, like, how, in case we didn't needed to know how, how tough the Wolverine was, he takes out Hiroyuki Sonata. There we go. And before that, Rush Hour 3. My point being is that he hasn't really had an opportunity to shine to really showcase all of the skills that he is, like, really, like, fostered and polished and sharpened like over three decades worth of like martial arts filmed them and I'm really glad that he's gonna have that opportunity now so once again up front not even gonna like play with it I'm gonna watch this for Sub-Zero v Scorpion there we go played by uh, a you know an up-and-comer I really didn't call him like an up Joe Tall Seaman up-and-comer except for the fact like, I mean Maybe not as many Western audiences have like heard of him, and this might be his sort of like foot in the door to getting wider recognition. So I mean, you know, because he's been doing martial arts films for you know for a few years now, um, but just not really as well known to you know Western audiences for and for Scorpion, played by Hiroyuki Sonata. So obviously, if they're you know behind these roles, then you know this is going to be something worth watching. Any other type of, like, reservation that I have is actually kind of minimal, you know? Like, I have only concerns, like, as how much of the film will be building up to the actual tournament, because it seems like the trailer is more selling us on an idea, as if this wasn't a well-known IP, and people are like, hey, have you ever heard of Mortal Kombat? No, I have not. Please tell me more. Now, to be fair, to be fair, not everyone's a gamer, but the thing is, like, I'm not really, like, a big gamer, and yet if someone has, like, hey, you're gonna watch the new Mortal Kombat movie, like, I think the average person was, like, Mortal Kombat, I don't know, like, I've heard that those video games are, like, pretty violent, and I'm not really into violence, so, like, they would know. My point being is, like, you know, like, that person would kind of know, you know, the average person on the street would say say to themselves, I'd have to look a little bit more into it because I've, I've heard that, you know, that, that franchise is violent and I'm not really into violence. I'm into action, but I, but I don't know about that. I, my point being is that it, I, I'm, I'm slightly concerned. I'll say this, slightly concerned. I'm slightly concerned that the studio has maybe invested a little bit more time than necessary to building up, oh, what the property is versus like, uh, 
versus just getting right to the meat of it all and just getting into the martial arts fantasy action aspect of it. Uh, but that's a small reservation. It's like, it, it's kind of the same thing like when you see in a superhero trailer, it's like, Someone's stopping crime all over Gotham. This this new vigilante called the Batman. It's like, have you heard of the Batman? And like, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. We, and this is like what new movies do, you know? <laughs> it's just like, it's like, have like, hmm, this this incredible superhero that we've never heard of before. He's like a a super man. It's like, ah, oh, geez, like. He's he's so he's so incredibly strong and powerful. It's like this this Superman. Who is he? Where did he come from? Like, my point being is like sometimes these studios get a little bit too bogged down in the origins, not really trusting the audience to really know in advance. Oh, this has been like a well-known cultural icon or a well-known cultural property that a lot of people are fully aware of. So them building out the mythology is like oh the. People are built, uh, built. People are born with birthmarks of the dragon that are like their invitation to the tournament now. Or it's like, oh, by the way, it's just like uh, <laughs> uh, every culture in the world, in this in this world, every culture has a story about a great tournament that decides the fate of the world. It's like, okay, fine. It's Mortal Kombat. I'm tuning into Mortal Kombat. I want to watch Mortal Kombat. Just, just, just please give me more Mortal Kombat. <laughs> please. Okay? Just like, instead of trying to sell me the idea of fantasy characters with martial arts abilities, hey, just like, you know, like okay, you know? Uh, show me. Show me. There we go. But it still looks good. It still looks really sharp. And like I said, no, no reservation. I'm going to watch this for Sub-Zero v. Scorpion. There we go. And that's, it's, I'm already sold. I'm already sold just on that. Huh. But anyways, it looks really good. And so I'm looking forward to it when it finally, when it finally hits these. And we, when, when we can safely, you know, when we can safely uh, all like, you know, like maybe not all, but when we can see it in theaters, I'm looking forward to that as well. So Anyways, well, it's an HBO Max. It's an HBO Max, so it's going to be, like, spontaneously, like, with HBO Max service, which admittedly I don't have. But, you know, like, hopefully they'll also have some, uh, like, venue. Well, no, because it's going to be, like, theaters as well. So hopefully, you know, everything will be safe. Because it's, it's, it's still got a while to come out. But my point being is, like, okay, I'm looking forward to being able to, like, enjoy this safely. There we go. Uh, but yes, so what do you guys think? Are you looking forward to this? You know, uh, do you have any, do you have any like uh, particular characters that you want to see in the film? You know, do you have any reservations? If you do, then why? Uh, please let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for joining me on this, uh, on this trailer reaction for Mortal, uh, 2021's Mortal Kombat coming up. Thank you very much and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.